Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello, everybody. How are you doing, John? Hey, Art. Good. Good morning, everybody. I say good morning because it's still early where I am. <laughs> but every morning is a good morning as well for you, John. I know that. Well, when you have your coffee, it is. That's mm -hmm. the important thing. So, uh, John, uh, what's, what's new with you? Anything? Funny you should ask, Arthur, my boy. Yes. Uh, big, big changes. Big doing this well, weekend. Wait, would it be, as Ed Sullivan would say, huge? Was it like a huge? <laughs> huge. It, it was huge? huge, yeah. We went to the <laughs> movies. We went to the movies. This is wait. the first time in... 16, 17 months, something like that. You mean in that big box that's dark, that has the big box in it? that's dark where all the COVID comes at you and eats you up? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Uh, apparently, because I have a friend who's been going to the movies, he said for quite a while. Hmm. Uh, so apparently, theaters have been open. Yeah. But I have two theaters near me, and one theater is still not open. I think it's a Regal, I'm not sure. I don't know if it's the chain is not opened or this particular theater is not open, but that's the one we used to go to a lot. That's still closed. Um, but the other one is uh, downtown is a Cineopolis, which oh, is a luxury theater. Upscale. Well, not true, John. You would you would go to an upscale theater. I'd always go to the upscale. Put my feet <laughs> up, have dinner, um, and and they you know they've first of all the place is spotless, and second of all they had a larger cleaning crew than I've ever seen before. I can remember going to the movies, if you stay for the credits like I do, mm. the kids come in, you know, there might be two two kids cleaning the whole theater. And this, there were, I think, six of them came and in. By the way, they're very talented, in, no matter where you're sitting, to be walking right in front of you as those credits are rolling by that you actually stay to yeah. watch or to see if there was any outtakes at the end. Yeah, they always <laughs> clean that spot, right? Right by right. your feet, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, it was very nice, and um, it's a great theater, and a great sound, and comfortable seats. And now, were uh, they they weren't packed in? Were they? Uh, uh, did they no, sell, sell them in pods? No, they, uh, well, I don't know whether it was pods, but it was every other row. Uh -huh. uh, well, no. The, first of all, the rows in the luxury theater are so far apart, so they have people in every row, but they're staggered, so nobody's in front of you. Uh -huh. Not that it would matter. It's not like the old theaters where and nobody's, you know, directly, nobody's head would bother you. Nobody's directly Lady, take next, off your hat. And nobody's directly next to you. Uh, no. So you yeah. can sit. You need three, four, six people, whatever. You can all sit together. But there will be what they call buffer seats. And you have to reserve online. So when you go to reserve your seats online, you can see where you can sit, where you can't sit. Right. Um, and it's it, it's fine experience. So unlike and the airlines... Unlike the airlines, you still have an empty seat next to you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Unlike the airlines, and and you know you think you would think the airlines would be smart and I don't know what take out a couple of seats once in a while, but no, no, then I come in like cattle. Yep. Yep. So anyway, what we saw was uh, John Krasinski's A Quiet Place. Oh, part nice. Two. Excellent movie. Loved it. Loved the first one. Now that stars his wife, right? He directs it and she stars in it. And Emily Blunt is in yeah. it. Yep. Yeah, he makes a minor appearance. But it, anyway, love the film. Perfect film for the movies. Um, you know, loud, scary. <laughs> Every, everything you want to go to a big box theater for. Well, you know, you've been venturing out um, uh, perhaps over the last six months eating at restaurants and things like that. So you you felt comfortable uh, doing that. And I recently started going back to the gym um, at the Y. Uh, well, the gyms haven't been open, have they? That's well, a new they, they actually, apparently, they have been for about uh, three months. And about okay. a, a month and a half ago, I started going back, feeling very comfortable there. And in fact, I'm going to go to the gym that I uh, still have membership in, 24-Hour Fitness, uh, for the first time. And they've been open for a while now. And I know a lot of friends, particularly those who are in bodybuilding competitions and things like that. Uh, I, as a matter of fact, Galen, uh, uh, who uh, we 
viewed her, she and her mother, a while back, has been going to the gym now uh, for uh, months. And so, you know, it depends on your comfort level. She wears a mask. Yeah. And so I'm going to venture over there today to see what it looks like. Good. I, yeah. And now they, the gyms around here, we're in Southern California. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for I think almost a year, they a lot of gyms have been put their equipment outdoors. Yes. And they've been open out outdoor gyms. The wire has half of their equipment outside and then of limited use inside where they've removed some of the stuff to put outside or they've right. stored it away. So there's a lot of room between people to have the plastic panels. Uh, it'd be right. interesting to see what they did over 24 hour oh, fitness. But uh, we also have gone out to a restaurant a bit and uh, following your lead, of course, uh, sitting on the patios. Uh, you got to eat. Yeah. But, you know, we're, uh, particularly here in Or Orange County, California, where I live, uh, there's a pretty high level of uh, uh, vaccination. So there are a lot of people who are feeling good about that. But still, when we go to grocery stores, probably out of more respect for the the people who work there who are still wearing masks. I wear a mask going to the grocery store, even though I feel very confident that having been fully vaccinated back in February, uh, that I'm I'm good and we do family events. You do family yeah. events as well, so. Yeah, uh, no, we, we never stop. Right, so <laughs> so life is coming back to normal in a lot of cases for uh, a lot of us. Yeah, unfortunately, about a year too late. Um, but that's neither here nor there. So this is um, not, no, we're going to do Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Okay, yeah. it's a little bit, well, this is just right, this is too hot, this is too cold. Yeah. But uh, well, you know, the, the good thing is, though, that um, I hear uh, people on television and radio debating, you know, there, there, there's they'll I, they're not direct debates, but it's one person will say, well, we've we're practically at herd immunity. And the other person say, oh, we're nowhere near herd immunity. We've got to keep wearing the masks. Um, and I think the healthy thing is that there's the two points of view that we can argue about. I don't know which is true. Of course, none of us do. Mm. You don't know who to believe. Um, but I think it's a good sign that we've got those two opinions that anybody is saying uh, we're close to herd immunity. And I heard one guy this morning say something like uh, uh, certain areas of the country are 90 percent effective, uh, effectively uh, vaccinated, immune. Uh, others are maybe 60 percent. But Whatever it is, we're, it's a good sign that we're getting close to it. So. And, and also, uh, hopefully, uh, especially now with the summer, uh, people are further apart. They're outside, except in areas where it's so hot, they're inside because of the air conditioning. So we'll <laughs> see what happens. I mean, uh, it's almost uh, uh, interesting that we have this experimental uh, country, which is what the states were all about. Uh, yeah. States' rights are all about. And we'll find out, does it make much difference? in one part of the country, maybe in the North uh, Midwest, where they haven't had as many vaccinations, will do worse than the South, which is wide right. open because people are outside. So we'll see. But I think no matter what is happening right now, it appears as if uh, large swaths of our country, at least, right. uh, with, a, with at least what, about 50% vaccination rate, something like that. Uh, is uh, pretty much getting back to normal. So, you know, there'll yeah. be exceptions and hopefully uh, not too many people will suffer for it. And then it will be... I'm, yeah, I, I, I agree. But I'm hoping we learn from this. I'm hoping that after this is said and done, which is who knows when, people will take an honest look at what was done and what was not done, what worked, what didn't work, Take the politics out of it and let's learn from this because I think we got a lot to learn. Well, I, uh, I'll, I'll uh, drink to that, but not at a bar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, well, I'm, I'm delighted that uh, you were to the movies because I remember, I seem to remember it was a nice experience, a shared experience. <laughs> experience of the large you mean the film. movies you remember yeah, going to the movies i do they were they were nice and i remember it there was it wasn't way back when i was just a, a little boy uh, but yeah. as an adult i i seem to remember yeah. having enjoyed that so uh again following your lead i'll probably 
be a movie hound within the next few months. Yeah, I you know it's funny because uh, now that you mention it, I do remember that the movies have been open uh, for a few months. Again, not all the theaters near me, but at least one theater near me has been open for a number of months. I just didn't know, I didn't see any films worth going to. Mm. And I'm a movie goer. I love going to the theater. Well, maybe I've got a big screen maybe, TV in the living room, but it's not the same. But maybe, maybe so much of the stuff was showing at the same time on TV that That's anything true. that was worth seeing, you could see someplace uh, on the internet. Well, I don't know. Maybe that's probably true in a lot of cases. But mm. well, anyway, um, I, I am I am happy for you to have had the experience to share it with all of us, and to inspire maybe some of us uh, to get back to the movie theaters because it is a great. There, no matter how great you your home entertainment system is, and there's just nothing like being in a theater with with strangers and hearing them laugh and yep. react and uh, perhaps differently than you would uh, and on a huge screen that's 30 feet high. Yeah. I, I, for instance, last night in the theater, um, everybody else around me looked over when I screamed. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, you tend, to do, you tend to do that during the commercials at the beginning yeah. when, when they say, go outside popcorn. <laughs> so this is, this is where we say, see at the movies, everybody. See the movies. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.